in my last video, I went over the solution of this assessment uh, by going over these steps. Hopefully you have seen that. And uh, as I was explaining the Excel part, I felt that uh, I was uh, doing some mistake. So uh, I will go over that Excel part uh, again here. So to do the Excel part, I was talking about this rounding. So it says, I'll give you a few of those who are uh, haven't watched my previous video I would give you I would like you to pause this video and uh, try to read this whole uh, story like situation so to tell you in brief uh, this is a situation where uh, there's a big day out where 19,000 people approximately 19,000 people attended it uh, which is rounded to thousand Okay, and uh, there were option for people to either buy green days or not buy green days. So from the people who brought green days, there were people who bought one, two, or three green days. Okay, the cost of one green day was 1.34, and the organizers generated some uh, New Zealand dollars. From the New Zealand dollars, they can buy carbon credit, which was each carbon credit costed $18. So the, you had to change uh, from New Zealand dollars to US, uh, US dollar by using this exchange rate, which is one New Zealand dollar is 1.33886 New Zealand dollars on October 2010. And uh, uh, three carbon credits gave you 10 trees. That is the whole story in short. So I told you when you have uh, the audience number which is rounded to 1000 and it is said there were 19,000 people what they are saying is there could have been people from 18,500 any number between 18,500 to 14,000 sorry uh, 19,499 uh, would be considered as 19,000 so this is 19,499 okay so I will prepare a spreadsheet here. So this is 18,500 and this is going up in, uh, in hundreds and this is 19,499. So now how to do, this is also a video on using spreadsheet. So green days, the people who bought green days uh, was 23% off of this number. So what you do is you enter equal then you say 0 0.23 is uh, for 23 percent times is the star key times this one this number that will give you the answer and then if you catch the tail like this and you this is the tail and you drag it down that will give you this number so this i'm going to round it to 44 so you can round this down like this so this is 4485 okay so this is how you do it now the green days the people who brought green days was one quarter so let me go over 23% uh, attendees purchase green days of those who purchase one quarter purchase three green days okay so to calculate the people who uh, found uh, bought green days you go equal this is the total number of people who brought green days divide by four and enter will give you this number and if you drag catch the tail and you drag it down that will give you this number okay and the people who brought uh, two green day was uh, one third one third bought a purchase two green days so to do that you go equal this number which is the total people divide by three enter that'll give you this and then you catch the tail and drag it down and one day would be total green days minus three days minus one day so you go equal this uh, minus you can do minus this minus this and this is the beauty of Excel. You can do hundreds of calculations by the click of a button. So I drag it down. So this will give you the total number of people who brought uh, one green day. 
So total green days would be C2 plus D2 plus E2. So you can also type in, uh, this is C2, you can type in C2 plus D2 plus E2 and enter. So I, you can see this is highlighted. So you enter, so this is for 4,255, again the same thing. So this is the total number of people who brought. And uh, I'll show this in our calculation. Let us go back. There are 4,370 people when we took 19,000. So let me do this in red color so that you can see. Let me change that into a different color. Say, let me change that into blue and uh, also highlight it. Okay, so that, oops, what did I do? Oh, so this is uh, in a different color so that you can see. So if you go back, when we did the calculation, I showed you there were 4,370 people who brought, uh, no, 4,370 who brought green days. And that was this, uh, no, the number was, uh, no, I'm again doing a mistake here. So yeah, the total green days would be equal. So this would be this times, yeah, that's good, I checked, times three. Okay, this is the people who brought green days and they brought three green days. I have to times it by three, plus this times two, plus this. Okay, that's good, I checked. So, and then you drag it down. Okay, so it should be 8,010, I think so, that's what I remember, 8,012, this is rounding. So here we rounded it, so this is, here we rounded it down, and that's why there'll be slight difference because of the problem of rounding. So 8,012 is fine. Okay, now what are we going to do? Now New Zealand dollars, if you want to calculate that, this would be green days, this times the rate was 1.34. 1.34, so this is, uh, how can you get this number? No, I'm getting something wrong. Delete equal uh, this times 1.34, enter. This number doesn't make sense, yeah, okay. So let me change the in 2DP, so this was in whole number, so this is in 2DP, so, and then you drag it down, so this is in, in New Zealand dollars. Now we need to change it into US dollars, so <coughs> it says uh, to change into US dollars, what we had done was <coughs> 8,000, we got 8,012, that's fine. Uh, so to change into US dollars, you have to one, one a US dollars is 1.33886. So this, so we got 10,733 in this way. What did we get here? 10,335. So this is again a rounding difference. So this would be, uh, so this will be this New Zealand dollars divided by 1.33. 886 enter again I have to round it up so I think I'll round it to 2 dp and you drag it down this will give you the in US dollars now you get eight for 18 dollars you get one carbon credit so again you go this divided by 18 will give you the carbon credits and that's in the whole number, so that's fine. So you drag it down. So we get 4,000, so this number, we got 445, so in, in there we got how many carbon credits? So let me scroll down, 445. So I think we got exactly 445, so that's fine. So this is the 445, so let me change color to blue and also highlight it. Uh, Okay, so 445 exactly, and total number of trees is this divided by 3, 
times it by 10. So you can watch my previous video. So this is carbon for every three carbon credits, you get 10 trees. So that's why this number has to be divided by three and times it by 10. So this is 1446 trees. So you can get total number of trees from 1446 to 1524. So the minimum would be 1446. So when we took 19,000 people, we got 1,400 around this number. So what was the number of trees that we got? 1,483. And in Excel, we got 1,485 because it is off. It's rounding. The difference is because we are rounded. This is rounding to the nearest whole number, whereas when we did this, we rounded it down. 